欢迎回来 ，Welcome back. Ready to make some 清蒸鱼 or steamed fish? <laughs> It's a pun. In Chinese, fish and extra are both pronounced 鱼 <laughs> It's tradition to leave some fish uneaten to symbolize having extra savings at the end of the year. Steamed fish. Hmm. Use the knife to dice the scallion over the platter to cover it. Cover? That's not enough scallion. Dice. Dicing the scallion gives you lots of little pieces that will cook evenly and add a nice texture to the dish. <laughs> It's not disappearing. Okay. Actually, hi. <laughs> There's a limit. <laughs> Plate the fish on top of the scallions and coat it with one spoon of salt. Oh, I don't like touching fish. <sighs> Is it called curing? I know you cure meat. Julian, the ginger with the knife, to cover the fish. Julian, I don't know those techniques. To Julian, something means to cut it into matchstick-sized pieces. This will add another interesting texture. Julian cuts also work well for garnishes. Are you happy with your fries, mate? Add some cilantro and a drizzle of wine on top of the fish. Use wood to start a hot fire under the left wok. Place two scoops of water in the wok. It seems like they don't cook with oil or just like you know, just heavy stuff. Only with water. That's so interesting. Place the plate with the fish in the wok and cover with the lid. Let it steam. The left wok is ready to cook with. Good. Now we are all set up to start steaming the fish. Start a fire under the second wok on the right to prepare the sauce. Sauce. That was the easy part. Hope you are ready for some multitasking. Yeah, my nemesis in the kitchen. To make the sauce, combine two scoops of water and equal parts soy sauce, sesame oil, and wine. The wok on the right is ready to cook now. Is this wine? Start a fire under the second wok. On the right to prepare the sauce. We did. To make the sauce, to the sauce, add all of the rock sugar and two spoons of white pepper. This is rock sugar, although in my time we called it sugar frost or sugar ice. Just a bit of sweetness can elevate the whole dish. Remove the steamed fish once. Oh, <laughs> now that smells good. <laughs> Scoop one full lid of sauce and pour onto the steamed fish. I think I just burned my hands. There. Doesn't that look delicious? No. <laughs> 
garnish the fish with parsley. Wait, that's not parsley. Well, I want it to be more accurate. Place the meal on the serving table and ring the bell. Wait, this fish is turned. I cannot wait to try it. Okay, let's see how you did. Nian Nian Yu. Oh, that means may you always have more than you need. Just something you say when you are eating the fish. So, nian nian you. Ah, the fish is pretty good. A wonderful sign for the new year. Wait, is that perfect? What did we do wrong? I mean, I hate fish in general, so <laughs> good enough for me. Xin Happy New Year! This recipe is Dongpo pork. My family used to have this during special occasions. Pork belly, bok choy, shiitake mushrooms. Mmm, I can't wait. <sighs> okay. <laughs> Julienne a good amount of ginger with the knife into the bowl. I mean, I know we should do nail on the bowl, so let's just do it accurately, whatever. You know, Dongpo pork is named after a fish. Looking good! Now let's bring those over to the left walk. In the left wok, combine two scoops of water, the pork belly, and half of the ginger. A hole? The key to a good piece of pork belly is to pick a nice pink piece, not too red, definitely not brown or purple. And you want a good layer of fat. In fact, about a third of the whole cut should be fat. That's where all the flavor is. That is true. You are blanching the pork now, which will get rid of the impurities and make the pork easier to cube. Hmm. Use wood to start a hot fire under the wok with the pork. A steady supply of wood can get expensive. The shape of the wok does a good job of evenly distributing the heat and helping you get the most out of your fuel. Mm. No! Oof. <laughs> okay, four cubes. Let's go. Fuck. I'm not gonna be a butter, that's for sure. It's fine, but it's not fine for me. <laughs> In the second walk on the right, place a layer of whole scallions to start the sauce. Oh, quick tape. If you put the scallions at the base of your wok, they'll keep the meat from sticking. Means you don't have to stir. Ooh. Now add to the scallions a cinnamon steak, two bay leaves, two star anise, and the remaining ginger. <laughs> star anise, that's a lot. Lastly, add the soy sauce, Shaoxing wine, and half of the rock sugar. Come on, y'all. Ah, too much. 
save some for the mushrooms. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shaoxing wine is the oldest wine in China. You add this stuff to your stir fry and it'll taste 10 times better. Oh, I wish we would do pad thai. I love it. Use wood to start a hot fire under the wok to heat up the sauce. That's interesting that we are... We can bring things to the boil from the start or like kind of grill it. There's like a correct placement and just timing. Add the pork cubes to the sauce and boil until the pork is cooked through. The wok on the right is ready to cook now. Flip originally, pork was so expensive, only nobles could eat it. When it became cheaper, the nobles stopped appreciating it. <sighs> so silly. So that's a steamer. I was always wondering. You used to boil the pork. Over the water you used to... Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Use the ladle to divide the sauce and pork cubes between the four bowls. Cover with the lid to steam. There was no sound effect, so I'm not sure if that's correct, wait. Okay. Empty the wok of the leftover pork sauce and spices into the trash. Oh, we can't use it? Oh, no. Sure. Cut all the bok choy in half with the knife. Now, the question is, horizontally or vertically? <laughs> well, let's go with symmetry, I guess. Bok choy may not look like much, but it's so good for you. I don't think I've had it ever. Fill the now empty wok with two scoops of water. When boiling, add the bok choy. Okay. The order. Once the bok choy is light green, place the bok choy in a circle on a plate. Oh, wow, wait, in a circle? Damn. Thank you, game. I'm assuming our hands are titanium, light green. It's essential to have some vegetables with your dongpo pork to offset the fattiness. Um, okay. <laughs> Empty the wok used for the bok choy and place the shiitake mushroom caps into it. Where are they? Oh. The 
name shiitake is actually Japanese. Here we call them xianggu, which means fragrant mushroom. The very best kind are called huagu or flower mushroom because of the patterns on their caps. Right. Something is burning. Uh oh, wait, no. <laughs> Damn it. And from the trash. Sure. Can't do much about it. Now add one spoon of garlic and the remaining rock sugar to the mushrooms and the sauce. Once cooked, place the mushrooms and the sauce in the middle of the bok choy. They are already done though. Uh. Oh well. What? Hmm. Okay. Dip the teapot in the water bucket to fill it. Put the teapot on the already hot brazier. Bring it to a boil. Put two spoonfuls of green tea powder into the teacup. It's my walk of shame now. <laughs> when I burned the mushroom. For a boiling water. There's a legend that tea was discovered when the mythological figure Shen Nong drank a cup of hot water without noticing that tea leaves had fallen into it. He felt so refreshed. After that, he had the drink made again and again. There's no sugar in the Chinese tea. I'm so surprised. Whisk the tea until the froth. Oh, make sure you whisk it really well. This style of whisked tea makes the top look like it's covered in a layer of clouds. I think it's also how they make matcha in Japan today. I never saw a tea with foam. Place the meal on the serving table and ring the bell. Oh boy, that's gonna be rough. That smells delicious. Wait up until you eat the mushrooms. Oops. <sighs> Moment of truth. <laughs> oh. Let's hope this was worth the wait. Well, she ate it at least. Okay, okay. Seems like you've been learning something. This is some good don't pour pork. <laughs> Which means you're trash. Okay, yeah, I can agree. <laughs>